If it could be tapped for electricity production, the heat at the center of our planet offers an almost inexhaustible supply. In the US alone, it's been estimated that geothermal energy could produce more than 13,000 times the annual consumed energy. But reaching this energy source is not trivial. The biggest reservoir of heat is not near the surface, but deep underground, starting from four kilometers and some of it lying as deep as 10 kilometers. While we routinely drill to extract oil and gas resources, something we've got some fairly considerable expertise to do here in Canada, enhanced geothermal systems to drill, extract heat, turn it into electricity involve additional challenges and risks. The pathway outlined in our blueprint focuses on one of the most important steps for developing EGS potential demonstration projects that can help improve our understanding of the challenges we face in drilling and extracting the heat from those depths, and also prove the business and policy case for the long-term potential of this clean and abundant source of energy. We focus on enhanced geothermal systems as an illustrative technology, while conventional Geothermal power plants are limited to where hydrothermal uh, resources exist. EGS can be implemented over vast areas of the globe uh, where hot rocks are found. EGS involves enhancing the permeability of the Earth's crust by opening pre-existing fractures and or creating uh, new fractures deep into the ground, typically more than one and a half to two kilometers below the surface. The image at the left shows that one well is drilled and pressurized to create fractures, while a second well is drilled into the far side of the fracture zone. Cold water is then pumped down one well and steam extracted from the other. Employing the technologies already used by drilling experts in the oil and gas sector, enhanced geothermal is an attractive option for baseload energy. Other uses of geothermal energy besides electricity production are, of course, includes uh, heating uses and geothermal heat pumps, and those, those are well-established technologies. The challenges for EGS, or the major barriers to this expansion, have, of course, been the very high upfront capital costs of geothermal projects and the lack of investor confidence and financing. Lack of data, of course, is an impediment. Only a small number of wells have been drilled worldwide to date. Until the technology is sufficiently de-risked, exploration of the resource will be limited to isolated, government-supported uh, developments. Engagement by major financial and energy players will be needed to make the cost projections attractive uh, to investors. To begin with, information sharing and geologic resource mapping are needed to help accelerate technological development of enhanced geothermal power. Large-scale demonstration projects are a potentially powerful means of building confidence and improving technological understanding. The Equinox Summit resulted in proposing a public-private partnership with key stakeholders to coordinate and roll out 10 commercial-scale demonstration projects in strategic locations throughout the world. WGSI is offering to host a workshop to convene industry leaders with government partners. This meeting would seek to confirm the hypothesis that 10 enhanced geothermal projects is timely and relevant. To motivate initial funding and a collaborative global working structure, as well as to discuss champions to implement the 10 demonstration projects. <laughs> 